On the phone with us is Frank Gaffney, Jr., President of the Center for Security Policy. Mr. Gaffney, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here today. Uh, President recently uh, releasing his budget proposals, and there were significant cuts for the military in there. Uh, how many dollars are we talking about in cuts? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, it depends on where you start and how fully you want to account for them. Let's let's begin with the first three years of the Obama administration. He reduced by about $330 billion the defense spending uh, of the United States. Uh, under what is known as the Budget Control Act, um, he's proposing to take another $487 billion out of the defense accounts for the next 10 years. But there's a whole nother increment of cuts that his budget does not reflect at this point that is also required by law, uh, namely another $500 billion that would fall under what's known as sequestration. Um, you add it all up, it's uh, it's a lot of money. <laughs> and unfortunately, some of that is going to come out of the hide of uh, Arizona. All right, let's talk about that from two aspects. First of all, uh, security, which uh, obviously you're involved with, and secondly, the effect on the economy. The principal concern has to be that these sorts of cuts are going to have very profound and I think adverse effects on the national security of the United States um, in terms of our ability to uh, project power, in terms of our ability to deter war. Um, unfortunately, what we've actually seen is uh, historically when we go through this kind of uh, conduct, uh, it actually invites aggression on the part of our enemies. So it's very worrying um, just from a straight national security point of view. Uh, Mr. Gaffney, are you saying we can't cut any money from defense, from our defense budget? There's just no room to cut anything? Uh, I don't think I did say that. Uh, I'm, actually, I'm asking. I, is just that... Said, I just said that the president has already taken $330 billion out, and there's another nearly $500 billion that's coming out. I think that's probably... Uh, ill-advised and reckless. Uh, how much of that uh, we can live with uh, remains to be seen, but I'm just telling you, I think when we do this, um, we historically have found that it incites others to act aggressively against our interests, and uh, ter turns out to be a very bad way to try to save money, because we then wind up throwing money at trying to uh, remedy the situation. But just quickly to come to your question about uh, the impact economically on a state like Arizona, um, we calculate that if these second round of cuts go into effect, the full um, uh, $1.2 trillion or so that they're now talking about, it would cost Arizona about 33,000 jobs, um, about $2 billion in direct lost earnings, and close to $3 billion in uh, gross state product. So we don't do these sorts of um, things for jobs. Uh, we do them for the national security. But on the other hand, there are job implications or economic impacts when you fail to provide for the national security as well. Is Arizona one of the worst hit states, you would think, in this budget cut? Um, it, there are some states that have an even bigger um, military presence or defense industrial presence or, or uh, associated uh, activities. But I, I think Arizona is probably in the top tier, yeah. All right. Your website is securefreedom.org. Frank Gaffney, Jr. is president of the Center for Security Policy. And May I just also give an, an email address or rather a web address for this particular product. It's for the common defense dot org slash reports. It, it'll give you uh, information about both Arizona and the country writ large. All right. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us My this pleasure. morning. Thank you.